Good morning guys and happy Thursday and uh, yeah happy rainy Cornwall and it's uh, back to reality with a bump I'm back to work today John normally has Thursdays off but he's got to go in for a bit but I don't we're not quite I'm not quite sure if he's going in for all day but he's starting late so yes come on darling good boy I am all day frozen, so I'm actually going to make myself some porridge for breakfast. Hey guys. Yo. And we're stuck in traffic. We're on the way to work. And we're stuck in traffic. <laughs> it's alright, it's moving. It's not heinous. It's 8.33. It's 15 on the temperature chart. I'm bloody cold. But yeah, it's not raining, even though the weather forecast said it was blue sky. Maybe the weatherman got it wrong. But yeah, back to work today. Hi guys. Yo. And it is home time, finally. Um, it's 11 minutes past six. Uh, John came to pick me up from work. I'm actually, I finished work at half five. Got out relatively close to time today for me. Normally I'm a bit later, but it's been a, it's been a full on first day back. Um, and uh, we nipped to Sainsbury's um, to get a few bits. The original plan um, was we were always going to go to like a shop today to get some stuff for like tonight and Friday. Um, and then the original plan was to get Asda to come on Saturday and do a proper shop on, on Saturday. However, I've kind of volunteered to work overtime on, on Saturday. so that's not obviously going to happen so I think we're going to end up going back to Sainsbury's on Saturday to get food for next week and then have a proper food shopping we'll return the following Saturday um, but yeah very busy day at work but it did mean it went went relatively quickly John ended up working pretty much a full day yeah. even though it's normally his day off but such is life when you own a business I suppose uh, yeah going home I will show you what we got from uh, Sainsbury's when we get there warning there is naughty things in there uh, basically TM Isla it's star week and I shall eat crap if I want to <laughs> um, but yes we're going home we'll see you when we get there hey guys so we're home from the shops I've been home for about 10-15 minutes but I was having a fuss with the pups and yeah I will show you what I got from Sainsbury's. We spent £22 and 29p. That includes 5p for a carrier bag. But yeah, I'll show you what we got. So yeah, mini Sainsbury's haul. Um, feminine hygiene products. Got some berry fruit salad. I'm gonna have that for my breakfast tomorrow. And then an Italian inspired salad thing it's got um, quinoa pesto semi semi dried tomatoes mozzarella sun dried peppers all the things I like and it was cheap and we got a sweet and crispy salad which was also reduced my berries were reduced as well we did well actually we got some venison burgers which I'm gonna have for tea tonight they were reduced <laughs> Got some bread rolls for the burgers, these were like 55p. I got some salted caramel brownies, they were reduced. Yeah, some healthy choices and some not so healthy choices, but you know, don't judge me, it's it's Star Week, do you know what I mean? Uh, we got some chicken enchil enchiladas, I think I kind of pronounced that word. We got some of those, that's for tomorrow's tea. Some Taste the Difference coleslaw, some Mexican sweet corn fritters, which I'm rather excited about trying. Um, I've seen quite a few recipes on how to make these, so if I like them, I might have a go at making them. And then we got a chicken and chorizo paella. So basically, tomorrow's tea is paella, fritters, and these. Um, yeah, and tonight's tea is like burgers and salad. Then I got um, two classic tiramisu's, and then I saw these, and I got rather excited, because I love rice pudding. This is called um, Naughty But Rice, 
and this is coconut and raspberry flavoured rice pudding and it is not that bad on the calorie front from memory focus 142 calories for the little tub of coconut and raspberry flavoured rice pudding and the salted caramel flavour is a bit more, that's 212 calories but yeah, I wanted to give them a go and these were a pound each which isn't that bad so that is what we got from Sainsbury's also I thought it would be quite interesting to show you what my naked fridge looks like like that's how empty our fridge is at the moment. It doesn't happen that often. We've got some carrots that have probably gone past their best now. So they probably need to be put in the compost. Uh, we've got one thing of cashew milk left. There is a satay sauce there. Some milk that we picked up yesterday. We all nearly always have red milk, but they didn't have any in the shop. They only had green or blue, so we got green. There's John's um, ginger beer, dairy free butter, eggs, four in there, um, what's up here, lots of low fat cheese, some lighter halloumi, laughing cow light, some lighter soft garlic herb cheese, Philadelphia and then we've got some Polish cheese. There is a random can of Foster's. What are you? Oh, some tofu, another Foster's, some Frugo green juice and Frugo black juice. All that stuff. Tomato puree, beetroot, chopped. Is that ginger or garlic? Lazy chopped garlic. There's more beetroot behind that. Some sun dried tomato, polenta, passata. Olives. This is Polish plum jam. Love that stuff. Up here, guacamole, squeezy mustard, reduced sugar, salt, ketchup, squeezy cheese, puppy milk for Darwin and Gilly, sweet burger sauce. That's barbecue sauce. Yeah, barbecue sauce. And up here, there is like a million Domino's dips. Dairy free chocolate buttons, some Polish chocolate. Oh, Slimming World, no, Weight Watchers stir fry sauce. Some of the oldest chocolate in the world. J Hearts K. These are the favours we had at our wedding. We've been married six years in October and we still have one in our fridge. Bet they taste horrible now. And yeah, that is what is in my naked fridge. Obviously, I'm about to put what I just showed you that we got from Sainsbury's in there as well and it's giant ass tea time um, yeah this is what happens when you go to Sainsbury's after work and you're hungry basically we've got chips we've got venison burgers we've got bread rolls we've got salad and we've got Sainsbury's version um what's it called coleslaw, coleslaw. there you go <laughs> I couldn't remember what that was called. So yeah, chips, burger, salad, coleslaw. That one's John's. And that one's mine. Gil, was that good? He's not that happy. Just been for a WALK. And uh, it was quite successful until the final stretch coming home and one of our neighbours pulled up in the car and Gilly did do a bit barking at them. He doesn't like cars. And things like that. See ya. Oh, so many people drive like idiots around there. I think it said people drive like idiots around that corner and it scared him when he was really little and now he just barks at all cars. But yeah, it's proper chilly willy out there. It is like, like a car and a half expect people to have their Christmas lights up because it's that cold. Should have put my coat on. So right, I am, um, we've just watched one episode of Bake Off and now I'm about to watch this week's episode because obviously we were away the last episode and John's watching St Helens versus who? Warrington. Warrington, which is a rugby league if you don't know. And yeah, got a glass of Pepsi Max, trying to do an online shop on my phone for Sainsbury's to do the click and collect so we don't have to go in store on 
Saturday. That is all really. Hey guys, and that's bedtime. Um, yeah, I don't know how user friendly I think the Sainsbury's app is, or it may be great, it's just not as easy as the Tesco one. I don't know. Uh, so that's what I've spent most of my evening doing. But yeah, we're going to bed. I hope you've had a good day. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.